Hello everyone, my name is Coral. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a review today of Such a Pretty Smile by Christy Demeester. And it's just started to rain. And I think that this is the perfect atmosphere to tell you about a book that I read and loved called Such a Pretty Smile by Christy Demeester. This came out in January, 2022. And this is one of my most anticipated books of um, this half of the year. Now, this book takes place in two timelines. The first one is 2019, and we're following a teenage girl named Lila. I believe she is 13. She is just, you know, barely a teenager. She is in middle school or junior high. In this timeline, Lila lives with her mother, who is a single mother, um, Caroline, uh, she does see her dad. He lives in Louisiana and they live in Atlanta, but she does not see her dad very much. And in fact, they've got a really strained relationship because um, she has a younger sister who's newly been born and is ha having some health issues due to her birth. And so, you know, it's a very hard time for her dad and her stepmother but she really feels um, very neglected by them. And that's hard for her. And it's just, you know, a hard time in general because she's a teenage girl and she has this friendship where um, the girl she's friends with, she kind of feels more than a friendship for, um, but that girl, it's, it's not reciprocated and she probably doesn't even know about it. And not just that, but she just doesn't seem like a very good person in general and Lila lives with her mom, Caroline, who is an artist. And the second timeline in this is Caroline in 2004, before Lila is born. And she is tutoring um, a girl who is homeschooled. And the girl has some issues with school, which is why she's being homeschooled. And she starts to have some strange things happening to her. And also Caroline is having some strange things happen to her. And in both these timelines, these murders of young girls are happening. And they happen to be girls around Lila's age and around Beth's age, who is the child that Caroline is tutoring in 2004. You come to see how these timelines are connected and the murders that are happening, they're being linked to somebody called the Kerr, but could the Kerr be murdering people in cycles? It just seems a little bit far-fetched and strange and just abnormal. Boy, <laughs> this is a short novel. This is barely 300 pages and it is just so hard to put down once you start. I listened to some of this on Scrambage as an audiobook. Um, so if you would like, I will leave my, I, well, I always leave my link to my Scribd referral, which gives you two free months and also gives me a free month, which is really nice. Um, if you care to listen to that on audio, I really did like the audio. Um, the narrator does really great accents, particularly um, the folks from Louisiana. Okay, so I really liked this book. I thought, like I said, it was really atmospheric. I thought that the dual timelines really worked well together because they're both coming to a climax at the same time. And this mystery of what's happening to these young girls. And also, you know that something is happening to Lila and you know that something's also happened to Carolyn. And at least myself, I was wondering, is this something that they're causing? And it, was just such a big mystery and the buildup was so tense and um, atmospheric. They also talk about in this book, um, this place called Jazzland, which is now abandoned. In Caroline's timeline, that's not happened yet. And she goes to Jazzland a few times and you know that something has happened to her at Jazzland. And then in Lila's timeline, Jazzland has already been abandoned because it's something that was ruined um, when Hurricane Katrina happened and it just never, you know, it's now just abandoned. And if you look at pictures of it, because of course I did, it's just such a creepy, spooky place. So you see it in both timelines, both it being an amusement park that people love to go to and are still attending. And then 
seeing it as an abandoned spooky place and even in Caroline's timeline where it's not abandoned yet it seems like such a spooky place because you know something is going on there and you don't know what and I mean really in this book I was just led along this whole time knowing that something is going to happen and something has happened and I don't know what and I just really I had so many ideas floating around in my head on what this might be and um well honestly none of them were quite what I thought they would be and that's okay I really loved coming to the end of this book and finding out um what was really going on I will say it was a little bit unexpected and I think purposely so so part of it was kind of like how do I put this without giving it away? It was like purposely a little bit deceptive and weird, um, but not in a way I, I ended up disliking. It was just like, oh man, I was just so sure that this was going to be what happened. And it's not that I was so sure of what my ideas were, but I really thought it was going to be something and it ended up being something that I just like never imagined. And in such a really fun way, there were so many really unexpected parts of this book though, um, especially when uh, these strange things are happening to Lila and it's almost like she can't control what's happening to her and what she's saying to people and what she's doing. And there were many times where I was like, oh my God, did she really just do or say that because holy fuck like it made me uncomfortable like I was seeing something I shouldn't you know what I mean like I was here overhearing something I shouldn't and yeah I mean Christy Demeester's writing is just really beautiful I think that she did so well developing these characters and making them feel like they're real people with real problems especially Lila with her kind of unrequited love of her best friend and like the weird kind of bad in some ways um sometimes relationships you can have as a teenager uh when people are really just kind of learning how to be a good friend or how to take advantage of people sometimes and things like that and um so yeah i mean there's just so many really interesting elements that are in this book and they all fit together so well i think and i really ended up loving this book and i would highly recommend it of course so yeah that's such a pretty smile by christy demeester i will also have a link if you'd care to buy a physical copy to my bookshop.org affiliate page. I'm always making lists of like recommendations, um, the things that I've read on there in case you'd like to purchase them. And that does help my channel out. This was really such a great start to the year. Um, there's been so many great horror books that have come out recently and so many that I'm anticipating. And it's been a little while since Christy Demeester put a book out and I was so excited um, to hear that she was doing that and to hear like the release date be announced and to see the cover and then to have it in my hands and to read it and really, really love it. It was just such a rewarding experience for me. So let me know, of course, if you've read Such a Pretty Smile, if you enjoyed it, how you felt about it with no spoilers, of course, we wouldn't want to ruin it for anybody else. Um, let me know if I've convinced you to pick it up. I would love to hear. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Goodbye.